and welcome back to another Alpha Craft episode. This is your host, as always, Spectrum 1981. And how are you all doing today? I am doing fine. And here we are. We're over here, uh, and I needed to get some wood um, because I'm slowly running out of materials. Um, but in between episodes, uh, well, you guys, well, you guys saw like uh, last episode, I went over to Indy's TNT store. And we put in an order for some terrain work being done. And so, you know what? How about I show you guys that clip, like, right now while I finish getting some resources together? Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I was so. up in uh, Mirror's base doing some stuff. Um, ah. Yeah, but uh, so the area that I was talking so. about in your uh, over at your shop is this area right here. So basically this this whole area yeah from like here yeah. all the way down to where it connects up to the road. So I was thinking oh, it's like this entire section within the road. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking like uh, a a nice tree and then uh you know however you want to terraform it just go crazy have fun. Okay. And you know, then kind of kind of do however you think you want to do it and I think I want to see what someone else would do after seeing the style that I have over here. Yeah. Um, got a couple of ideas. I'm going to look around, see what you've done and then. Okay. See what I can do with this area. But yeah, your base is looking amazing. I was just, I was just saying like, this place is coming along really well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a few things that I've got going on over here. I'm, I'm prepping for the next part, part of it now. Just a few. Yeah, yeah, yep. just a few. Landed first try? Yeah, 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 I, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did see it. <laughs> Say, like, landscaping? Probably, I'd say, like, probably around, like, for the lands. Mm -hmm. And then, three, so... Anywhere between two and three, depending on what I end up doing. Okay, so we'll say let's keep the budget under 10 diamond blocks, at least. Under yeah, under 10. <laughs> okay. So just okay, don't do well, over 10 diamond blocks worth of work. <laughs> <laughs> three, yeah, three diamond blocks would probably end up, is what it'll end up being. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you got to move the little creek a little bit, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah. you know, anything in that area that you have to move or adjust, feel free to, you know, do whatever you got to do. So, uh, just let me know when it's done and then I'll take a look at it and then, uh, drop your payment off over at the, All right. the uh, the mail room. All right. That... Sounds good. Oh, mail room now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was over there yesterday. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Alright guys, resources are gathered, but um, yeah, I, I came out as I was getting resources ready, and I ran into Indy, and he went ahead and started showing me uh, the different stuff, so um, you know what, let's go ahead and check out that clip. Alright, alright, okay, here I come, okay, um, all right. so where's the best place to view this from? Um, I've been looking at it from this tree over here. Okay, I will follow you. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That looks really good. Oh, you Thank even put you, crops yeah. on there. <gasps> Indy, you've you've outdone yourself here. This looks <laughs> really, really good. I didn't expect... I, I, I kind of expected, like, a, a cliff, not terraces. I love the terraces, though. Yeah. And I'm like... So... I was looking around. I saw like you had the little terraces around your pathways. I'm like, that would actually look really cool there. So that's that's where I started, and then I'm... it looks really good, and I love the tree. Oh. Yeah, yes, most definitely. So what's the what's the damage? Uh, so I'm thinking five. Dynamics. So one for the tree. Uh huh. Uh, and then I think the other four between three trees, and I think there's six terraces. So you said five? All right. So five. One, two, 
three, four, five, and here's a tip. Thank you. Yeah, you did a you did you went <laughs> above and beyond. Above and beyond, man. That looks really, really good. Oh, wow, Indy. You you're mm, it yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, well, thank you very much for, uh, you know, moving on this pretty quickly. I didn't expect this to, you know, go as fast as it did, but it looked really, really good. All right. Well, I'll, I'll leave a review well, in your shop later. Well, guys, that was fun meeting up with Indy, and Indy got paid, and he got himself an extra little bit of money as well as a tip for doing such a good job because he went above and beyond. So make sure you guys head over to Indy's channel and you guys say hello to him and tell him Specs sent you. But uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. So now his tasking that we gave was to terraform this area right here and add in a you know cool custom tree. And what he did is he went ahead and put retaining walls and it looks like he went ahead and added the water in right as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the berries on the thing because that does, that is item frames, but it is a thing in the game. So it is perfectly okay. Um, but, oh, wow, this, this looks great. He's put a couple little custom trees here and there. He's got the bushes as well. Oh, I almost didn't make that. Actually, I didn't make it at all. Oh, there we go. Um, we, he put in some crops as well, which is really cool. And he made it all moss, which is what I've been doing and all the stuff as well. So we got some carrots and some beetroot and some potatoes. Pretty cool stuff here, Indy. Really good job. And yeah. And he also added in another custom tree. Wait, this wasn't even part of it. You know, the, the part of it was just all this down here. It looks like he went ahead and worked on this little spot right up here as well, which is really above and beyond. And he added in a nice custom tree. And his tree looks better than mine does. Oh, it's like a cypress tree. Oh, that is just gorgeous and beautiful. I love it. Andy, good job, brother. Good, good job. All right. Ooh, I just threw a rocket at you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, oh, man. This place is... Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Before we leave, we got something we got to do. Oh my god. Oh, come on, server. Okay. We have a map of our base that we have not really messed with in quite some time. Um, so we have our map, and this is the spot where he was working on. So can we... Good. It's all in one map, it looks like. Wow. Okay. Okay. It looks like it might be in more than one map. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, let's just update all the maps real quick. Oh, there we go. Let's just stand right over here on top of this roof. Can I get on top of the roof right now? Uh, mm, yes, I can. All right. So we're going to right here. Update. That updated and that updated most definitely. Okay. So let's go put the maps back up and take a look at this. One map, two maps. What? Are those two mixed up? Let's see. One map, two maps, three maps, and four maps. Ooh, that looks really good right there. Oh, that is that is just gorgeous. There's the tree, tree there, tree there. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, the stuff is looking really great over here, but now we need to go work on some more stuff. And then it's over in the soon to be gaming area. And that's where we're at, guys. We're over here at the gaming area now. And, and as you guys can see, it's just not that far away. So we have a gaming sign here, Alpha Craft Season 4 Gaming Area. And that, I, I put these signs here earlier today and kind of made a little bit of a path just to kind of lead the way over here. And what are we looking for? For over here. And I've moved all my supplies over here. Oh. Oh, sorry. That was my phone. 
and the supplies are over here and we got ourselves a little uh setup going on over here we got a bunch of different things and we're gonna build the first thing uh, hmm where should the first thing be so this is the path you know what i think the first thing i should build will be over right here in this area so I am going to go ahead and, uh, you know, get the redstone for this first thing done, and then we'll talk about it. Stone is done, and the animals are in. Like, the animals took so, so long. But I have this done, and it's going around, and it's pretty cool, I believe, at least. I, I don't know what you guys think, but I do have a, t I am going to do an updated tutorial for this, uh, later on in my channel, along with the, uh, the other thing that I'm going to be building, which is the Ferris wheel, which is going to go right back over there over my head, I believe. I think that's where I'm going to put it, or I might just put it over here somewhere. I don't know. But, so this thing is doing its thing, guys, and it's just moving around. And it's just simple redstone. Um, so let's go over here, right? So, all it really is, is just this right here. You know, observers going around in a circle. We have a piston feed tape, which needs to be glazed terracotta and honey. And the honey uh, moves the boats. And then we just add another one in there for the um, the pistons to fire. And it just goes around in a circle. And it works. And the redstone I have to get rid of it is pretty simple. It's just really a lever on top of a sticky piston, which pulls one out. So when it comes, it's going to stop and it's going to keep the thing from firing anymore. And there we go. That's our first set of things. Now, I'm going to build the rest of this. And um, you know what? I might just time lapse it. So uh, let's roll that time lapse footage, guys. <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed that time lapse and it is now done we've done all the detail work and stuff like that which i didn't show all that on the time lapse because there was a big giant pause in there and i yeah but let's go ahead and take a look at it um yeah i'm not liking these <laughs> i wasn't sure if i was gonna like them i slept on it overnight to see if i was going to like having the extra mirrors here, and I definitely do not. Um, but let's talk about it, and then I'll remove the mirror. So we have our entrance way going in. We have our on-off button, so you or lever. So you turn on the lever, and it everything starts going around. It just takes a minute. There you go. And then you turn the lever off, and it will stop right there. And now we have, we have mirrors. We have a nice little fun house wall going on and plenty of lights the roof with a flag on top of it i think it's looking great yeah, get on my way grass but yes now we have the big one which i think it's going to go right here i think right here is going to be a perfect spot for it because it's going to you know what let's let's go look um so the top of it's going to be somewhere around whoa come on come on stop there we go server struggling a little bit today um yeah so right up about here oh that gives a really good view of everything so yeah putting it like right in this area it gives a really good view too bad you can't see any further but no one's building anything just yet i'm really hoping that some guys after i get done doing this put some really cool stuff up in here so i guess guys it is time for me to get to doing some more redstone. So I'm going to place the redstone, guys, and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we have our Ferris wheel started. And I started to do a little bit of the detail work and to make it look better. And then I decided to stop so you guys can see what was going on. Now, um, pretty simple. Uh, I have it deactivated right now because I start to work on things. But um, this piston pushes up, and then... 
it causes the observers to go through the observer trail, which then pushes all of the pistons and makes this thing go around. And for the peoples, like all they gotta do, this this block does not belong here. Oh no! Okay, that that you just stand on the block, and then you get to see what it all looks like. Now, we need to go see the view from the very top. And there we go. So when you're up here, you get to see all of this view, and it looks really great. And we had some fun messing around with it. So um, when I was working on this a little bit earlier, we had uh, old Stina come over and take a look at some of the stuff that we did. And, you know, I'm, you know I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Oh, cool. You want to see something funny, though? Like, yeah. So when I tell you to flip that lever. Okay. Wrong thing. Oh, come on. Why won't it let me do it now? Uh, oh, now it won't let me sit in the seat at all. Okay, hold on. Let, let's try it over here then. I got some in my hand. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, flip that lever. Okay. So, when this one goes to move, watch what happens. Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. <sighs> Not not working quite as intended. <laughs> no, no, no. You hop on a pig. There you go. I'm on a pig. And it'll move you around. Oh, this is hilarious. Yeah. You need some kind of music. I, I was thinking about putting some music blocks or a disc. You know, and mm -hmm. play I think a music disc actually in the center would probably be the best bet. All right. So one test must be done just to make sure that the rails, oh no, are you kidding me? Sometimes I hate this game. <gasps> I have that is more. such a... That is actually such a disgusting sound. It is. It it most definitely is a gross sound. So that's the way you'll have to do it. Can you break that dirt? Can I break the dirt? Oh, I can break the dirt. Oh! <laughs> All right. Now I got to test to see if that minecart falls or if it's slow enough. Ah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, so the minecart is going with it. The going down is the problem. When I oh. had it smaller, the the minecart would fall off the bottom. Yeah, okay, it looks like it it looks like it's slow enough where the minecart can land and it'll be just fine. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we'll be good. You can't put rails on honey blocks, by the way. Yeah, we learned nothing. Yeah, yeah. No no rails. Did it, oh, it's still there. Oh, did it fall further? Oh, it fell further. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Stina and me in that last clip. But we are all done, and it is working, and it looks great, and it works. Um, it works. <laughs> there is a few issues with it, um, which, you know, one is you got to stand on the block. Um... And then, you know, if you crouch, it works better. If you don't crouch, you can still make it around, but you kind of make sure you're careful so that when it does go around, you can, uh, you know, readjust yourself. It's not completely AFKable or anything like that, but it does what it does. So I think we did a good job, but I have some ideas to make it better. And I might be working on those in a creative test world here over the times. But I want to thank Stina 
Indy, and everyone else from the AlphaCraft community that's been helping me uh, do all this stuff. And those guys on my Discord server that have put up with me uh, playing this stuff late in the evening so that uh, they can help me build these things. But uh, I have a lot of work that still needs to be done that I want to do off camera. So uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys. So I hope you had a great time. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.